All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Psyche K, K Season 2, Episode 12. 12. Uh-huh. But we'll get into this episode. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. We've got, well, uh, still a character that we have yet to introduce. That is that is definitely One true. One we've recently noticed in the OP. Indeed. Um, Terahashi got some focus last episode, so unless God just wants her to be in the show more... Yeah. Maybe we won't be getting her as much this episode. Yeah, you know. I could see Terahashi taking a bit of a backseat, but I could also see potentially us getting back into the waifu wars side of things. Ah, that's true. There was that one other girl that was like blonde, I think, or something like that. Yeah, she wasn't you know, really that big of a deal. Yeah, exactly. No, you know, she, she, she really shake up the meta. Yeah, she she really was kind of just second fiddle to Terahashi. You know, mm-hmm. wasn't wasn't that great or anything. Yeah, yeah. of course not. Well, yeah. we could also go back into some bro squad stuff. I feel mm-hmm. like it's about time to kind of give ourselves a little bit of just like the boys all just working together, uh, doing something really stupid and psyche yes. somehow. You know, like. Making it all work out just fine. I would love some Hyro, personally. Hyro? I, think, I think Hyro could could get some love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, if I were to use my own form of telepathy here, mm-hmm. I think Chio's going to get slighted in some way this episode. So, business as usual? Yeah. Cool. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. Dance nights of... All right, we okay. got ourselves a wing girl, a wing man, Indeed. and a wing girlfriend. That's right. All three in the same episode. All three in the same episode. And I got to say, I like this development. You know, mm-hmm. it's something where Psyche is coming up with creative solutions and really learning the life lesson that he needs yeah. to depend on his friends That's true. in order to avoid talking to people. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, and he did a pretty good job at that. He did. Um, he even kind of... Got a little bit too involved, though, with the whole stuff with Terahashi, Imu, and Chio, though. Right. And yeah. removed their date potential uh, situation Which, there. that... So was he being a wingman at that regard? Because he was getting rid of the ones that were insulting not only Chio, but Imu. Right. And then, or, by extension, we're going to harass Terahashi. But at the same time, like, if she wants to go out with any of them, that's fine. Yeah. You know? He's certainly not dating her. Or is it something where he's then trying to set up Imu with Terahashi... Mm, right, 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 right. But, right. you know, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's yeah. The, whole, the whole thing there. Right. Uh, but Nendo got a lot sexier. He did indeed. And then he put his <laughs> hand in his mouth and his entire foot. Bro. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bro, you, I, were, you were ascending. Yeah. They were even making excuses for your testicle for your chin. Butt chin. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's call right. it what it is. It's not a butt chin. Those are uh, some <sighs> testes right there. Some actual ball sack. Yeah. Yeah. They're like separated and <laughs> shit though. Like the... now, I I don't know how I never made that connection though. What? We've literally talked about this in the no, I was, I was, have we? You tuned me out that much? <laughs> no, see, I'm just uh, uh it's like it's like when Emu was walking with Terahashi and Terahashi was having this whole conversation with Emu when Emu wasn't saying anything because uh, Emu was just thinking about stuff I think that's what was going on she wasn't actually saying anything but Terahashi was just carrying a one-sided conversation I've been calling out his ball sack chin for like really? yeah for like the longest time damn it and I did my best to try and deflect onto something in the episode <laughs> no I, I've always just seen it as a butt but uh, I now, see I see now uh, yeah no it's it, it is though. I mean, a, it to call is. it a butt chin is a disgrace to those with good butt chins. Like exactly. Vigo Vigo, no, exactly. Right, right. Whenever exactly. we watch Lord of the Rings movies, uh-huh. we we're like, damn, we we laugh chin. at, but also are kind of like, oh, that's you know, you make it work. <laughs> yeah, you make yeah. it work, but that's a hairy butt that's on your face right mm-hmm. there. <laughs> but, and it just works with the fact that his hair is uh, pretty good for yeah. the most part. It looks like it's a greasy, but like attractive greasy, you know. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But then with Nendo, no, it's it's much more than a butt. Mm-hmm. Much more than a butt. And he almost had uh, like girls like going after mm-hmm. him. And people yep. like just yep. making excuses. And for the thing him. is, the thing is, it's Nendo insane. has an has a wonderful heart. So like you know, it's yeah. I once I'm, they get past his appearance, they'll 
It, like, it would impressed, actually impressed. be, like, one of the best relationships that you could get out of these characters. Yeah, like, just anyone with Nendo, because then they would actually, like, see right. his heart for, like, taking care of little animals. Exactly. Really sweet, and yep. I mean, just kind of an overall bro, just occasionally, to all the guys. Yeah, occasionally there would be the classic, like, hurt feelings from miscommunications, I'm sure. Sure. But they would be resolved well, I mm-hmm. think. Because, I you know... He's just dumb, like, but mm-hmm. but he he means well. But he's our dumbass. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But he's not um, Sato's uh, dumbass. Um, the no, he's normal not. of normalness. Right. The normie genius. I like that Sato is being like brought into the story again. I thought that that might have just been a, a one-off, one-off gag, you know, for yeah. for a gag because it's a great gag. But yeah. like, hey, if it's a great gag, maybe you can, you know. Maybe you can True. gag it some more. No. Um, mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, no. That that was the stuff that they were talking about before with the whole pretend girlfriend situation. Right. And the obviously that means you've, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of censoring. And the fact that, yeah, you could you could actually kind of track with what they were saying for the most part. And that Clanad episode that we recently checked out with the big parfait thing of the one guy that comes in and just orders the chocolate parfait. Yep. This is really weird. So I guess that's a cultural thing, or Maybe, is that a direct guess, reference to the I, I Clannad episode that we I, watched? I don't know. I don't think it's a reference to the Clannad episode. I think it's odd in that, like, well, mm, I don't know. Why is it odd? No. Have you ever gone? Okay, okay. Have you ever gone to a place and just ordered a dessert item there? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and exactly. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's really soothing it's and relaxing. I think it's more of the assumption that if it's something that's huge. Or, like, it's something where oh, it's like you're supposed to split it, right? But even then, it's uh, like even then, it's like okay, maybe. you know, hang on now. I am very much. A We're fan also of the from whole, the U.S. So We're from being a gluttonous country that eats the more, things, inordinate amounts of sugar. The things that isn't that, really surprising would be seen as gluttonous in Japan would just be like, wouldn't you be hungry after that? <laughs> I think you're onto something here. Yeah, we're absolutely wild and over here with what kind of stuff we just <laughs> yeah, right. fork in that it's like someone's like, oh, that's not weird. Right. Like, it's it's done up for for gags in anime because oh, this is so ridiculous, yeah, right? I no get those every once in a while at Fat Burger. You know? <laughs> right. What you you guys don't? That's have... a literal place also called it's... Fat Burger. No, it's... yeah, forget Fat Burger. It's you got to remember every once in a while that other countries don't have restaurants where everything is served in a donut, and you can get a donut cheesecake sandwich. <laughs> Where they make cheesecake and put it in a donut. He's not even kidding. I've like, been to this place. It's great. It's not anywhere near here. No, but it's like, in Texas. It's of in course Texas because of course it is. <laughs> but like, yeah, you know. Or if you want a burger, well, that burger is coming on a donut, like in between, you know, oh. two half slices of donut. You know, <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, 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 put the like, diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But you know, so maybe maybe that's uh, where that comes from, right? Maybe, and so maybe. and so for Psyche, that's part of the wish fulfillment. Not only do you have psychic powers and you can do everything mm-hmm. and all the girls love you and all that stuff right. and you're the most popular person mm-hmm. in class, but also you can just have treats whenever you goddamn please. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that all Psyche needs to do to have coffee jelly in peace by himself mm-hmm. is to just order out order a karaoke room for a little bit or just teleport into an empty karaoke room maybe i mean wait well, wait wait, wait. Okay. isn't that like like isn't that a like a hack isn't that like a strat for him that potentially because no one will enter well no and one, if they do that's he'll true. be able to sense them coming well he'll be able to sense them coming but also if he rents the room by himself then okay there you go but well two, maybe that's not worth it for the cost right because th- this is this is actually okay because they're this not is sound the, proof for the stuff happening outside really as much. So, but but you'll this hear is, the other people's karaoke stuff going on. Right. Yeah. But I this is where the world building of Psyche K breaks down. Ah, because, totally. Because mm-hmm. if he has all his powers and everything, and we've seen that coffee jelly can just cost three hundred yen mm-hmm. per jelly. Right. Maybe even less. A no, it was about a hundred yen. He's for, not gonna steal it. Jelly. No, 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 no. Of course not. Steal it. But you don't think he could very easily make some money, you know? Even if he didn't use his powers to do anything shady or whatever, right? Just... I think Psyche uses his powers for literally everything, so he would feel bad about making money. Sure. And and I guess he is he is kind of a uh, he is kind of lazy, like he wants to just oh, he's do super nothing. Lazy, yeah. So 
So the yep. idea that he would actually get a job to get coffee jelly, okay, maybe not. But at the same time, like, he should really work out an agreement with his parents. Yes. Where it's the, I get an allowance. They in already exchange, have that. I in think. exchange for, like, doing psychic stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe he literally do. does have an allowance. Yeah, because so. I, I remember them do, using the coffee jelly the very a lot. very beginning. To, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. then it's the, what does he spend it on? He needs right. a bigger allowance. That way he can get more coffee jelly. And then, you know, <laughs> yeah, then he's just a happy camper, you know, nothing else, nothing mm -hmm. else matters. But... Mm -hmm. But hey, the girls all were uh, on, 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 like on fire this mm -hmm. episode. Yep. They were all yep. going hard. So uh, yeah, good good luck with your your future endeavors, ladies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, all I'm, of your different endeavors. Uh, yes, I had uh, really putting into work to be like, okay, I'll be your fake girlfriend. Uh huh. But <laughs> I think we should like kiss to you know make sure we sell it. Right? No, 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 we don't need to do that. Mm -mm. Nope. I also loved the little gag I mentioned it in the reaction, like after they'd done it, but. The bit where they're like, oh, we'll send uh, little Ricky Jr. too to, to go and grab the, the keys and everything. And then it showed the process of the plan. And eventually there was a hand like turning the key. In the thing. <laughs> right. And they're like, wait, well, whose hand is that even? It's supposed to be I'm like, nope. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hamster just goes out. Oh, no. And then runs back into the locker. It immediately gets fixed. And like, what's his name? Matsuzaki. Yeah, Matsuzaki is all like, oh, wait, wait, what the? And then it opens it. Uh, oh. Right. Got in trouble for having a hamster. But hey, there you go. An entire... Like, that could be an entire episode mm -hmm. of other anime, potentially, right? And they just nope. went through it like that. Done, done. No, like, we're locked in a room, uh -huh. so we should then have, we like, eat? secrets, like, shared or something like right. that. Or, or, like, or, like, you know... Oh. Discussing theoretical, yeah, like, <laughs> you know, scenarios like that. Lord exactly. of the Flies style. Also, also, another thing, world building falling apart. The, the idea that the hamster was actually on the island with them. We saw those <laughs> images. It wasn't there, except for the one where Mero was looking at it. And let's be real. If there was a living thing there that wasn't one of the, that wasn't human, you know, it wouldn't have lasted more than 0.2 I mean, seconds. Cannibalism was on the table really quickly. Exactly. So, so, so. You know, that hamster, that hamster, she wouldn't even have skinned it. She would nope. have just taken the thing. Taken the tail. Like, just, I don't, I don't know if she would have even off. bothered to, like, break its neck before she swallowed it. No. Like, she would have just, no. Like a horror episode all of a sudden. Mera, like, trying to hunt the hamster that got away. And she's yeah. just like, I'm going to get you, you little shit. And the hamster just like sees her like it, she becomes lumbering like, towards him and right. the music is all like dun, 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 dun. and then like it, boom, boom, her voice is all deep I'm going to get you that, that feels like it would be one of those like like kids family movie things where you have the animals that you know can mm -hmm. talk and all that stuff like over the hedge you know or something like that uh -huh. and then you just have Mera being the, the scary evil evil bad guy monster you know that they have to deal with I'd watch it I'd, I would watch, watch that too but yeah, y'all, yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info is in the description. Yes, yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.